it's your approach. The approach gotta be more gorilla on it. How you doing, man? a pipe for a long time. I like the smell of it. I don't really care about smoking it. Uh, but my dad smoked a pipe. And uh, I don't like cigarettes. I was brought up to not like cigarettes. So, uh, I'm in the process of trying to do that. I was driving with this day in the car though in the blue room and to watch the smoke go out the window was like spiritual. Just to watch it like, it's just a cloud that all of a sudden forms and it feels, it feels just like tail outside of the I was born on Pace, I believe it's Pace and Place is the street. Um, 200 and something in Manhattan. 200 and something street area, south and south Bronx, very, very north Manhattan Island in New York. To Francis Bonney, who's a uh, trumpet player um, and uh, woodworker and lately has been doing a lot of bicycling and hiking extensively every week. Um, and to Ann Davis, who became Ann Bonnie, who became Ann Grothy, who now lives in uh, Elyria, Ohio, outside of Cleveland. And um, none of my statements or thoughts reflect those of my parents, so do not hold them accountable. However, they are my parents, and uh, I grew up in Teaneck, New Jersey, since the year of one, uh, when they moved there, I believe partly as a uh, reaction to the fact that our apartment was invaded by someone coming with the fire escape. Well, this is a fact, but um, I don't know if that's exactly why they moved. Came up with the fire escape, my mom fought him off with a broom. I was a baby in the other room, and she was very thankful that I didn't cry during the time. Um, because if I had, she believed that the robber would have taken more advantage of her. Uh, so that's kind of the history I understand, but grew up in uh, Teaneck, New Jersey, so I'm proud of it because it was a very multicultural, quote-unquote, environment, mainly a lot of African Americans and Jewish people. Um, and uh, grew up there all through high school. My dad is a professional trumpet player and woodworker. My mom was just kind of doing jobs. I mean, she she's an intelligent, caring woman, but was less career-oriented, I think, than she was at just being a positive person and mom for me and my sister. I have a younger sister. So both my parents are white, um, Welsh, Swedish, German, Polish, blah, 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 ancestry. But um, my dad, who was the major musical influence in my life, uh, growing up, um, listened to a lot of NPR, National Public Radio News, as well as uh, um, WNYC, which is basically a classical station, and um, WBGO, I almost forgot it, uh, the actual name, the jazz station in New York. Um, so he listened to a lot of jazz on the radio, and uh, he also, just in terms of record collection, had a whole, and CDs had a whole lot of what I would consider abstract classical, but not really abstract, but kind of just like dynamic classical music, you know, it's definitely not easily, easy listening, you know, and I won't name any composers because I'm not really that familiar with the whole uh, situation there, but um, in addition, he had a lot of jazz records, and I didn't really listen to many records by choice until I was older, but I feel as though a large part of my life was removed from pop culture and pop music, given that I really, don't even know how I first began to learn about commercial uh, business radio. You know, I listen to a lot of public radio and a lot of local jazz stuff. So, you know, it's different than like what would be a Z100, which is like the pop station out there, or Hot 97, which is like the pop hip hop station. But eventually I came to contact with those. Eventually we got cable and I started to pay attention to what was going on there. I remember watching their friends um, houses. I don't. I think it was Video Music Box, but it was never like the real New York centric '90s hip hop music video station. I remember in high school every morning, and this is just kind of random tidbits. But aside from the whole Wu Tang phenomenon, which was huge in the area, 
with the cream t-shirts and all that. Uh, watching video, video music box or whatever. And just watching like, you know, Black Moon videos and blah, blah, blah. And it was just whole like, just... I mean, it wasn't like, you know... I, th I think for a lot of black or African American kids, might, you might suspect like the white kid watching video music box was like, whoa, this whole world of activity. But I grew up in Seattle, New Jersey. There was a whole lot of black kids around me, a whole lot of Jewish kids, a whole lot of Jamaicans, uh, Puerto Ricans, whatever. Being white and Christian, I feel like was actually the minority. But just to say, um, there's a definitely like Wu Tang era that swept for people my age, as well as the aftermath of like Biggie, Dr. Dre, 93 thing. But um, as I was telling the director here previously, I also uh, had periods where I learned from my cousins about Run DMC and Got Tough on Leather. It was my first rap album, I believe. My first two tapes were Michael Jackson Bad and the La Bamba soundtrack, which is very musical. And uh, eventually, I remember one of the things I really wanted, please have it on, hurt him. And, and Seema Brown, who now lives in Atlanta, who I, I keep up with on Facebook, although we haven't talked in a long time, was one of my best friends at the time. And, uh, his dad, I think, bought me that tape, as I recall correctly. And we have a really good video of us performing some MC Hammer songs on video, where I am officially DJ Mama Body playing my Casio drum machine, which I will now grab. Casio RZ1, this is my dad's, as is, is the uh, CZ101, I believe it is, keyboard. This joint barely samples. As I recall, it has four sample pads. However, the total sampling time is 0.5 seconds. So, very limited capability there. I did use this, for those who know me recently, on um, the fresh interlude of the Sounds Good Biscuits and Gravy album. It was composed on this. Uh, Joe Good, Miles Bonnie Bonnie. Uh, if you're not familiar, by all means, go and buy those songs. Grew up in Seattle, New Jersey, all through high school. I played trumpet. I wanted to play drums. They wouldn't let me play drums. Probably because the band director knew my dad and knew that I could play trumpet better. I always wanted to play drums. I remember in high school, he would threaten the people that would play with the drums in the band room by saying, you keep playing that snare drum, I'll make you take lessons. So I was like, can I take lessons? And he was like, no. So that was the end of my drum career. However, I wish I could still do that. I ended up quitting. Um, band in school uh, my senior year of high school as a result of feeling as though the band director who did um, turn out quality bands was more interested in trophies than he was in music or our progress as individuals so as though I have respect for him I also wasn't necessarily enjoying the experience and I have some audio tapes to prove it which are um, fascinating kind of like audio tapes of my jazz band rehearsals, kind of talking all this smack to be clean on some high school band students, which is really isn't necessary when you're just trying to uh, enjoy your high school years. Um, eventually came out to KU in Lawrence, Kansas for college as a result of it being uh, both remote from where I grew up and the cheapest of my three choices, which were Berkeley School of Music, Penn State, or KU. I also applied to Rutgers and I got into all those places, but KU was really cheap and I felt as though it was like a study abroad experience going to the middle of the country. Um, I will say also that my dad was uh, from the Midwest, as was my mom. My mom grew up more than, uh, she was born in Garden City, Kansas, grew up in St. Louis. My, my dad was born in Lawrence and grew up in Topeka. So I had a lot of family out here, so it wasn't crazy, like, abstract to come out to the Midwest. But um, that's where I am, and that's where I stayed after college, and now I'm in Kansas City, Missouri. Your approach gotta be more gorilla on it.